man. Yeah, we out here, man. We out here in the middle of nowhere, man. We got spots everywhere. You'll never find me if you're not if you're looking for me for real, for real. Cause we, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. It's the desert, man. We got big, big. Don't show that. Don't, don't show that address. We don't want to let these motherfuckers know where we're at. Though. We got bigger stakes back here, man. Later on, I'm gonna take you to these doors, man, and show you what's really going on in here, man. My nigga Mike Mosey with me. Kilo, stay with me. You know what I'm saying? I got young Joe. Yo. Slap. Slap. What do you mean? Let's do this. Yeah. I got the name Mac Dre from back in the day when I was a youngster. My partners, you know what I'm saying, used to be more into doing thuggish, ruggish things while I was the main one, you know what I'm saying, fucking with the breezies. You know, I was dubbed the name Mac Dre. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I took it to the rap thing, and it's, it's, just, it's just big now. It's Big Mac. <laughs> well, <coughs> I was born in the O, the big Oak Town, Oakland, California. That's where my mama spit me out. But immediately, we was rushed to Vallejo. And I've been raised in Vallejo ever since. V Town, I represent the V. Born in the O, raised in the V. Started off, um, you know, I think it was like 1989. I was the first person I started fucking with as far as really making songs and shit with Studio Tone. I did Too Hard for the Radio with him and a few other songs. And uh, the, uh, the Mac took one of my songs to Kyrie. And, uh, Kyrie got at me and asked me, you know what I'm saying, was I down to make a record and down with Strictly Business. And you know, back in the day, 89, I'm 18, 19, want to make a record, jumped on it, so quiet. Today I did about, I guess you say about seven albums. Some of them was EPs, maxi singles, but you know, the personal thing why I went to jail was because the uh, law enforcement and the head officials of Vallejo seen the potential of a, a, a of a black man coming up, you know what I'm saying, doing things and, and the influence I had on others and, and you know what I'm saying, the possible me influencing others in the, in the wrong way. So. I felt I was targeted, you know what I'm saying, to just sit me down for a while to think and grow, you know what I'm saying, grow in the right direction, their right direction, you know what I'm saying. So they, they sat me down for a while. They, they, they set me up, I think, you know what I'm saying, with a uh, conspiracy. YBB is a break off of Strictly Business Records. Strictly Business Records started off with Renal Powers, Kyrie, and Rick Nelson, and uh, Drip. What's, what's Drip last name? I don't know Drip last name. <clears throat> and um, and I guess they got got into some financial difficulties with each other, to where as it wasn't cool between amongst each other, so they broke off. And Kyrie broke off and made Young Black Brother Records. Well, you know where we got the name from Young Black Brother the album. You know that's how uh, that's how I hooked up with YBB. And I did how many records did I do with YBB? Zero. Strictly Business, all my records were done under Strictly Business. Uh, Kyrie started that while I was in the feds. I got out and tried to fuck with him, but um, he didn't have the shit right, so Ron Bar died. Judge me off my mind. music, I've been looked upon as a kid with no direction to expectations. Cause half the time I'm spitting about the year two. What's really? But the deal was real, yeah. Got the brains of that new Lex bubble. Punks who thought I couldn't do it. Fuck y'all. Yeah. For real though. I'm huh? Huh? Oh, that's me and PSD on uh on the well connected compilation. He won't boy. I'm so plugged like a cork in a wine bottle. Faulty phones. It's my nigga PS.
Cut throat, bread headed. Let them hollow heads bother at him. Go and see him. He all you need. From state to state, slinging that great. Push your weight. We well respected. Keep goop, cause we well connected. From state to state, slinging that great and pushing weight. We well respected. Keep goop, cause we well connected. Yeah, that's that shit. Cut though, committee. Hell, like, how many did Drake last time? About three or four? Yeah, we ain't like. All the rumps. Gang plan, all the rumps. Gang plan. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, I don't know. Look at that. About 10 hours. What's up? By then? I'm happy. You know what I mean? We spit. Hey, yeah, but, uh, Boss Hog, he is on his way for something for y'all. I know y'all probably heard me on Dad. I'm on about to Dre shit, too. My nigga Sheila, driver. You know, I'm coming, Boss Hog. Be ready for that new cut, though, come in. Oh, that new dude, the turf man. I don't even know what his name is, shit. Be ready for that turf buccaneers, you know. Shit that sit under the committee. The turf buccaneers, though. I'm one of them, you know what I mean? Birthed by the committee of cut those, man. Fucking here all day. And we riding for real. We not just good rappers, baby. That's not it. Through, through being in the you know what I'm saying? We used to come through from Fairfield and the Crest. And what, the white men's? You know what I'm saying? He was a little older than me. I looked up to him because he was having stuff, you know what I'm saying? When I was, was young. Keep on asking me what I'm gonna do. My best advice that I would give, and I'm seeing people do wrong, is before you present your stuff to, to reputable motherfuckers that could take you to the next level, have your shit tight and ready. Get your, make sure your beats and your lyrics is, is up there, and when you listen to it, ask yourself, is it hanging with the, with the people that's professionals already before you even try it? Uh, she's going to clown yourself and you never get a, a second chance to make a first impression. Feel me? When I hear a nigga shit, if I'm driving and I, his shit don't make me mash the gas and start smashing, throw that shit out, man. Drive on Bay Bridge and sit in that shit to Honolulu. Throw that shit right that in the bed and wherever it go, it can go far as it go, man. We ain't good with that singing shit to a bitch all through the song. I mean, that's some good shit to make money, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, big things. Man, I don't know. Sky's the limit. I'm trying to do it all, everything. Everything I done seen in the TV and movies and all that shit, I'm trying to do all that shit. For real. I bust raps for them niggas getting bitches and them bitches nigga chasing. This here is a dedication to all you big players and even you hip squares that peep shit. Everybody else can eat shit. I'm, ugh. I gotta go back. I gotta get the flow. I gotta get the flow. You all in my oh, jaw no. with the camera. <laughs> you all in my jaw with handle. the camera. Yeah, okay. It's hypey. Let's do it. Handle. But shit, it's nothing. Let's do it. Gotta be able to. I'm playing it. Yeah, I'm taking this shit up. Yeah, Bullshit, yeah. it's nothing. You gotta be able to handle that shit. <clears throat> no, we ain't shy of nothing. We mm. rap naked on the mic. Let's tell you. Mm. Mm. What? 
I bust raps for them niggas getting bitches and them bitches nigga chasing. This here is a dedication to all you big players and all, uh, all you big players and even you hip squares.